What's going on guys? It's me, Dreamliner Fan 2016 here, and today we have another model plane unboxing video for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video, and with that being said, let's get started. So, currently right now we have three boxes right here, two from Pandafox and one from Midwest, and two of them are Miss Q's from Mass Unboxing 6, and one is a brand new model that is added to my collection that I'll go into full review on later and down the line. So yeah, some of these models are from Mass Unboxing 6, and there could be some miscues and like replacements down the line for this video, so I do want to like record this for you guys. So yeah, so you can show, so you can see what models that I have. So I'm eager to see on how these models would turn out for my eye, and I'm really excited to like unbox these models for you guys. Especially one new model into my collection that I'm really excited for. So, without being said everybody, Let's get started with our first box. So what we're gonna start with first before that is we're gonna start off with the replacement models and miscues and then we're gonna dive on into the last box that I'm gonna go into full further review on. So without being said, let's begin with our very first box. All right, and here's our first model for today's video and this box comes from Midwest Model Store and this is a replacement model as you can see. It's kind of like in a small box right here. Once again, Midwest Model Store does a very fantastic job well, in my Master Unboxing 6, that didn't quite go as planned, so I did ask them for this model to be replaced, and thankfully they did so as such. So, we're gonna unbox this model right here, and let's see what is inside. What it is inside. Yeah. Alright, so, just cut the top right off. Like so, perfect. And as I open up the flaps right here, we got all this packing paper right here, and let me just like take all them out. But first of all, I do have my invoice with me, so I'll showcase to you guys. So there it is, not giving away my address. And inside is my United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER replacement. So I got a, I got a, a lot of things to say about this model and how, how this end up not in perfect condition for Mass Unboxing 6. So yeah. Once again, I'm trying to like take these out. I may have to like rip open the box just in order for me to do that because it's really hard when you like unbox a very tiny box. And yeah, so take care of that and take that model out. And there we go. So now that she's out of the box, I hope this model is in good condition. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything in this box on this rip box from Midwest. So we're gonna yeet that box. And let's see how my United 737-900ER in the Continental Globe colors turns out in a newer condition. So we begin today's unboxing with my replacement of the United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the Continental Globe colors. So the reason why I got a replacement is if you can recall from Mass Unboxing 6, the port stabilizer, well not the port stabilizer but the port wing actually came off easily and then I had to like forcefully pull out of the starboard wing and therefore all the wings just came detached so the aircraft is no longer flying anymore so that's quite unfortunate so after that I unboxed that model I did contact Midwest Model Store about that and thankfully they matched like go through the replacement process I managed to return the model and therefore my replacement is here so I'm really excited to see how this model turns out and yeah, so if you want to see the full review of this model for Mass Unboxing 6, then you can click on the card that's going to appear on your screen, and you can check out Mass Unboxing 6, and you can skip all the way to the chapter of the United 737-900ER. So, without being said, let's unbox this and see how this model turns out. I hope it turns in, like, I hope it's in good condition this time. Hopefully no broken wings. And we're looking good so far, so hopefully that, that works. And just take her out of there and let's see looking good all right so we got all these stuff right there okay so pretty much everything is good except for the starboard wing the starboard wing is loose but it's not really coming out but if i could try to like fix that then that would be great but oh, oh, oh god like you see that like that gap right there but overall i'm gonna leave it as it is i may try to fix it in the near future but overall do we make sure that we have antennas? Yep, we have antennas on the bottom, but overall, it still managed to like come intact. Just except for that like last, but like the starboard wing, it feels a bit wiggly. But I'm not trying to like take it out completely. But it still remains intact. So overall, 
Great job, Midwest Small Store, and thank you, Allie, for the amazing replacement. And overall, nice to have a United 737-900ER into my collection in the Continental Globe colors. And I do have my CRP with me, but unfortunately, it is a bit bent right there, which I'm guessing they kind of like place it in too much. But overall, still happy with it. And yeah, thank you Midwest Mall Store for the replacement. Now let's move on to our second Miss Q. And here is my second Miss Q from the batch. And this mall comes from Panda Fox Toys. Now this is another mall for Mass Unboxing 6. And it's another model, but instead of having a replacement, I had this one ship because one of the models that ended up in one box didn't go through. So I had to like call them about that. And it kind of like took a while for me to like had this model into my collection, well, had that model into my collection for a critical airline that I do need to have to build up. And finally, it managed to go, it managed to, what I'm saying is like, it managed to arrive at my house, I think somewhere over the, yeah, it arrived somewhere over the weekend as of this recording. So, really fortunate to finally have this, and yeah, let's see how this model turns out. And as I cut through the box, it's kind of like a bit hard to cut on this side, and... Here we go. I, I think it was put in backwards, I think. <laughs> I think that's how it ended up looking like, but inside all of these like packing paper right there, I should have my invoice from Panda Fox Toys. So here it is. So this, uh, this expires on January 7th, 2023, and you get 5% off. The code is 4PAPA3751. So if anybody managed to get that code in, congratulations. But here it is, my third Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 by NG Models in the July 2022 set. So, finally, my third Southwest 737-800 from Panda Fox has finally arrived, and I'm really excited to finally have, have these models. So, the cliffhanger for Mass Unboxing 6 is finally completed. So, everything is out of this box, so let me zoom out real fast. So, everything is out of the box, so we're going to like... There we go. Just fling that. Oh, it managed to land perfectly. Nice. So, let's see how this model turns out for my eye. But yeah, let's see how this model turns out for my eye. And here is my third Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 from NG Models from Panda Fox Toys. Once again, I am so happy to finally have this model into my collection. My third Southwest 737 overall. And the cliffhanger should pretty much be completed for Mass Unboxing 6 since I was supposed to have three Southwest 737-800s from that unboxing. But thankfully, Panda Fox Toys managed to like go through the process of hang handing this mall to me. And finally, it is here. Unfortunately, they said that they can't like do shipping. They can't do like shipping of the other model because it's past 30 days. It's past 30 days and I had to like unbox the model in October. So, I mean, they managed to like bring that model into my collection well into my house in that case but i was so fortunate to finally have this model again i know i said that a couple times once again i'm just super happy to finally have my third southwest 737 800 in the heart livery and once again should be perfect for my southwest collection so yeah and i also did a review on this model for mass unboxing 6 so you can check that out as well so yeah let's get these flaps open and let's see how my model turns out and there she is as per usual hopefully there's no QC de defects July 2022 was a good year for South well, was a good year for NG because there's no broken models from that time frame and yeah what did I tell you this that was 737-800 is also intact as well so overall my replacements my miscues have been completed and they are perfectly intact and here is the June format of my CRP. So, once again, thank you so much Panda Fox Toys for sending me this Miss Q model. And finally, I now have three Southwest 737-800s in the heart livery. Really fortunate to have this once again, and I should overall complete my Southwest 737-800 lineup of three. So, really glad. And yeah, it's a really nice model indeed. And here are my two Miss Q's from the Midwest Mall Store and Panda Fox Toys. I don't want to give these two retailers a great job on setting my replacements and, of course, a Miss Q. And they did a fantastic job. And, yeah, so my United 737-900ER is perfectly intact, although the starboard wing is loose, but 
It wasn't too loose and all that. And my thought was 737-800, my third thought was 737-800 is right here. So once again, really nice efforts from Fanafox and Midwest and I appreciate their amazing effort. Alright, and now let's move on to the new model. And the new model that is added to the table comes from Panda Fox Toys. So here she is right here. This is another international airline that I do want to have. And overall, I'm really excited to have this model. This was from the April 2022 releases from Gemini Jets. And I'm kind of like very excited to have this model into my collection. And it, I think it should work perfect for my international lineup right here. So we're going to like cut all the way through here. Perfect. And probably like get a slight bit of opening right there on the top and cut all the way through here like so perfect now that we got that out let's see what model it is inside and what's I think I cut like uneven so that's that's no good and inside these packing paper right here we should have the model itself but first of all my 5% discount code from Panda Fox. Once again, thank you so much. And here it is right here. This expires on New Year's Eve of 2022. So you have until the end of the year to get this code in. The code is Sierra Sierra for Golf Fucked Up Mike. So get that in before midnight. <laughs> and here she is right here. There she is, boys. Right here is the Gemini Jets 1 per 100 scale. Air Canada Express but Marinade CRJ900. Now that should pretty much complete all of my April 2022 this is this should complete my April 2022 models from that time frame. So really glad to finally have this into my collection after such a long time. Of course with the budget and everything, I'd like to save on money. And yeah, finally have it. So yeah, so every, everything is empty on the box, so we're gonna whoop that box and Take a look at this beautiful model right here. I'm really excited to open this. And here's the Gemini Jets 1 per 100 scale Air Canada Express by Marinade CRJ 900 in 1 per 100 scale. Once again, this is a really critical model for my international. Well, somewhat critical, but if I were to do it like a Sacramento model airport, this is a critical, critical model to have. So I'm really happy to have this model into my collection and that should pretty much finish up my Gemini Jets April 2022 wish list. So, Really glad to have it, and yeah, so let's get started with the review of the box. So you got your Gemini Jets logo right here, made for collectors by collectors. This is pretty much the generic box as per usual. You got the computer generated image of the aircraft right there, but Marinade TRJ900 titles, Air Canada logo right there. One point scale that cast small aircraft. Sides, same as always. And then you had the back side right here. You got your aircraft taken off right there with the beautiful clouds in the background. I think these are like if I had to guess, these are like Alta series, so I'm guessing. Yeah. As you're able to get speeches right there, pretty much debatable. There's social media pages right there. There's your Air Canada copyright label right there. And your 2022 Gemini Jets copyright label at the bottom left. Yeah. And the item number of this model is GJACA2030. So once again, really happy to have this model to my collection and should work perfect for many of my. Canadian Airlines. So, really glad to have this. And let's have a look at the model itself from the pamphlet. So, let's open it up and see what she looks like. So, here we go. And there she is right there. Hmm, looking very nice. And here's the description of the Bobarine CRJ900. So, you can pause and read as per usual. And here we go with the unboxing. So, let me take her out on one of the flaps. I think this should be a perfect one. Or maybe I can try... Yeah, I can try doing it on the right. So let's see how that looks. Kind of... There we go. That was easy, actually. So, got that out. And there she is right there. Once again, I hope... I hope for something good for this model. I don't think I should probably check because since this is a one piece. But I ever since got into it. I'm more critical on like the nose here. And there she is. Take a look at her right there. Wow. Really beautiful model right here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that is amazing. So once again, really nice to have my Air Canada CRJ900 into my collection. And she is looking fantastic. And here's the Gemini Jets 1400 scale Air Canada Express from Marinade CRJ900. 
I think Jedi just did a very fantastic job on this model right here and once again really glad to have it into my collection and it really looks nice from my eye. So let's get started with the review of this model right here. So you got your cockpit windows right there with this beautiful black mask thing. Not like the Airbuses but the black mask on that you see on most Air Canada planes. You got your nose gear door right there. You got your nose gear right there as well. The nose shape looks pretty nice. You got your outline of the radome. You got the large L1 boarding door right there. Really common on a CRJ plane. You got your Star Alliance logo right there. And that should say that this aircraft is operated by Jazz Aviation. Moving on to this side of the aircraft, which is kind of like somewhere in the middle. So let's start from the very top right here, like the very top middle right there. You got your Air Canada Express titles. And this is where you would find business class right here. Kind of like stretching all the way from here to here, I'm guessing. You got your cargo doors right there, you got all that, and this is where the preferred seats would be. So kind of like, I would say, it's like running from here all the way to the start of the wing. And then all of this side right here is all economy. So you got your wing right there, your very thin airfoil, you got your airway seat exit doors right there. Let's look at that wing detail, so here are your flaps and slats right there. There's no fairings on this aircraft, well actually there is, there is fairings on the bottom actually, but they don't stick out from what I can see. The, they, the fairings don't even stick out when, like, the fairings on a CRJ doesn't even stick out to, like, the tip of the wing right there, the trailing edge. So, that's what it is. And you got your winglet right there. The starboard winglet should have, the, this is the inner winglet, but it should have the Air Canada logo right there. I think this one, yeah, yeah, that's just a black winglet. So, there's that. Now moving on to this side, you got your Bomarin ACIJ 900 tiles right there, your Canadian flag, and the registration of the aircraft is Charlie Go, Juliet Alpha November. And here, these are your CFM, I think these are GE, I think they are CF4s, let me check the box. I think they are CF4, CF4 engines, let me double check to make sure. Yep, oh actually no, they are CF34 engines, so, so gotta, still gotta learn on these engine types, so once again, these are GE CF4, GE CF34 engines right there. And here's the very back side of the aircraft with your T tail of the CRJ. You got your Air Canada logo right there. You got your horizontal stabilizers right there. And here is the here's something that I did learn from aerodynamics, but this thing right here, I did said this a couple times, but this basically helps with aerodynamic flow. But what the real name for this Saying right here, this piece right here, these are called the ventral fins. And once again, they do help with aircraft stability in flight. So, really nice that I learned that. And yeah, that's common on like a CRJ and a Q400. I see ventral fins on Q400s and CRJs. And there's your APU right there. So once again, Gemini just did a very fantastic job on this model and really proud on how this model turned out. Now moving on to the starboard side of the aircraft, so here's your R1 door right there, much what's much smaller than the L1 boarding door, and yeah, pretty much is the same at this point. So yeah, so overall, this is a very excellent model by Gemini Jets, and once again, really nice to have an Air Canada CRJ 900 into my collection. She is very fantastic. Now moving on to the top of the aircraft, so here's your top right here. Now this is the this model the CIJ 900 was way before this is the model the mold in this case before the antennas were added so if you haven't seen my Mesa CIJ 900 review then that had antennas but this model did not so yeah and here's the bottom side of the model right here you got your Air Canada logo right there and your tiny Gemini Jets logo the landing gear the main gear in this case are spaced out which is pretty good. Unlike, I think it was the 27th release of the CRJ900 from Air Canada Express that had like close to get a winglets, which shouldn't be perfect. It shouldn't be like that, but yeah. So here's your front right here. Also with perfectly level horizontal stabilizers, which is fantastic. And here is the back right there. And you can get a better look at that horizontal stabilizer right there. Looking very nice. So overall, this is a very great model by Gemini Jets of their CIJ900 from Air Canada Express. And once again, I'm just super happy to have this into my collection. I've seen a lot of, I think I've seen the Air Canada CIJ900 three times when I was at Sacramento. And overall, it's really nice that Sacramento is getting some nice international varieties. We mainly get like Air Canada CIJs. Well, nowadays, like we get CIJ900s at three o'clock from Air Canada Express. But before that, I think it's during the summer period, they would come at around 11. 
But yeah, really nice to have this model. And if ever I do like a Sacramento model airport, then I can include this model into my collection. So that is it for this unboxing. And yeah, so three models and that's it. But overall, let's line them all up and conclude this video. And here are all my three models from today's unboxing. We first start with the middle with the Air Canada Express TRJ900. And then moving on from left to right, we got the United 737-900DR in the Continental Globe colors. And my Southwest 737-800 in the heart livery by NG Models. Both of them from NG Models, the 737s. So once again, really nice to have these three models into my collection. Nice to have my replacements and Miss Cutes. And yeah, Panda Fox and the Midwest Mall Store did a very fantastic job on handling these situations. From all the broken models that NG has in their large release to my Southwest 737-800, my third one, to come here in a matter of, I would say, weeks, I think. But overall, really glad to have these two models, especially for the Air Canada CRJ900. I think that really turned out to look amazing. Oh, I forgot to mention that from the top view of the Air Canada CRJ900, you can see that there are the top black, the, like the top horizontal stabilizers are painted black. Now, actually, the horizontal stabilizers, horizontal stabilizers are painted black. Now, I don't know the reason why they painted those horizontal stabilizers black. If you can let me if you can let me know in the comments, then I'll be happy to reply. So yeah, once again, these three models are perfect for my collection, and I'm really glad to have them. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. And don't forget to share this video so this channel can grow like fast. It really helps. And if you want to see more of my model playing content and unboxing, then you can click on the card that's gonna appear that's gonna be appearing on your screen. So I can't talk to you. Sorry, I can't talk today. <laughs> but yeah, so click on those cards, and yeah, they are a lot of these model playing stuff. And yeah, so yeah, that is it for today's video. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.